Picture in your mind the most beautiful places on earth. Waves of garbage washing up onto the shore in the Dominican Republic. Streets left blanketed with trash after flooding in India. Idyllic Pacific Island beaches and underwater scenery marred by plastic debris. Actual continents of plastic forming in the oceans, the largest of which is three times the size of France with an estimated weight equal to 500 jumbo jet. And the problem is only getting worse. As of 2010, it was estimated that we had accumulated 6.3 trillion kilograms of plastic waste. And of this, 79% remains in landfills and the natural environment, polluting our planet. Every year, 13 million tons of plastic waste ends up in the oceans. It is expected that by the year 2050, a festering mass of 12 billion tons of plastic waste will be polluting our Earth. And the weight of plastic in the oceans will exceed the total weight of fish. Such plastic takes over 450 years to degrade. But then what? Then this toxic pollution is absorbed into the ground and natural waterways. We must find a solution, but what can we do with all this plastic? But to truly solve this global problem, we need something drastic, something earth-shaking, something industrial and sustainable. Partnership with Sepco Industries Company Limited. In collaboration with prominent researchers from Thailand's prestigious Chulalongkorn University, SEPCO has developed and optimized an innovative and ultra-clean industrial process for converting waste plastic into high-quality synthetic fuel. Enter the Polypetron Gen 5, a waste plastic to fuel production module. At full production, the fifth generation Polypetron has the capacity to produce at least 15,000 liters of oil per day per module while disposing of 20,000 kilograms of waste plastic. And all this with zero negative environmental impact.